Hello everyone, my name is Ant. This is a rock chip board, RK3588. How do you think? Can I run the modern VLM neural network here? By the way, this without the box, it cost like about 100 USD. And yes, today you can run your VLMs on such boards. So let's discuss in this video how to do this. Initially, I was planned to do this video like one month ago because this functionality for Rockchip it like it became available maybe two months ago. Uh, but one month ago, not all drivers were for this specific vendor. I will start Quen two. As you already know, if you watch my previous video, uh, there is already Quen 2.5, but for Quen 2.5, there is still no scripts for expert on Rockchip. So I think it's possible, but maybe it will take a few days or weeks um, to successfully export this specific neural network on uh, Rockchip. So. The most important part, you should install the latest drivers for your rock chip. They are provided with a Linux core, of course, but for different vendors, it's a little bit different process. So, for example, for friendly Alec, uh, which I have here, a random folder in the network which you can find uh, in some of their documentation where you can find the latest core and drivers for radxa i didn't find the latest drivers i have a few radxa boards uh, and i think the same was for for mechatronics but there is a version from armbian where all the latest drivers are already installed. But for example, like with this Armbian version, I can just update my device, I should reinstall everything. So this is the reason why I was waiting like this additional months while all the drivers are um, re released. So the crucial number of the driver is 0 0.9.0 uh, 7 uh, without this nothing will run for for this vlm after you install this driver the main guide you can find on the rockchip website and in general it's workable but you need to understand the general structure probably if you already worked with rockchip you already know this but I will repeat here. You need host machine where you will export all the networks. And of course, you need like the board where you will run everything. For the host machine, you need to install all libraries and all the scripts for export. They will be here. They, in general, they are working, but uh, some addresses are incorrect so you need to find where like you download your quen model you need to verify this address here and so on after this model uh, will be downloaded and exported uh, you can run this on the board uh, running all these scripts it will take you maybe a few hours to compile to download the model to compile this model to prepare this model and to quantize it of course on the board you don't need to install mm, in general may, maybe a few like libraries for compilation i don't know maybe for different vendors it's actually a little bit different the main part of course you need all the drivers and all headers installed here is like the script that it's provided um, from rockchip by the default uh, the only thing i modified i just appended additional measurement of time the inference is composed from two independent parts. The first one is calculation of embeddings with this visual neural network. And the second part is linguistic model calculation. 
the first part it's about six seconds for the inference with it, which is quite a lot but the interesting part it's only one npu core is used during this part so if you checked my previous video about optimization of the speed for rock chip it's possible to utilize uh, inference in a few streams independent with this in few independent stream you can actually boost this uh, not the speed but performance so you in this six second probably you can calculate three or four set of embeddings but of course it's possible only if you have a lot of memory on your board so in general this speed out of the box it's six seconds for calculate embedding and also for inference of llm part you need like to wait some specific time to wait for the first token and after that each token will demand some additional time so for example if you will ask your network is there something present in the image answer please only with yes and no this will be uh, this will like spend maybe one second or less but if you like will ask provide please full description it will take maybe 10 seconds to provide the description it's possible to optimize uh, everything here but maybe like if you really need uh, to run such vlm for something simpler you can also check my previous videos where i like showing how to utilize easier foundational models for detection for rock chips and so on but in my opinion it's a great step like running all these vlms on such devices even with such low speed for some application it's super interesting and of course it like possible to construct some complex logical schemas like for example please turn on these devices when there are like such amount of people in the room where i where they doing something you can like successfully do this with this board nowadays and it's great in my opinion so a few additional tips first of all uh you need a board with a big amount of memory here i have eight gigabyte of memory and all the scripts they utilize something like about four and a half and uh, here i am running like two b model but if i need to run for example seven b model this board probably it's not enough so it's better to take something with a uh, 16 or maybe even 32 if it's available also in my opinion it's possible distill your model in maybe smaller visual model especially if you are working in some specific domain of course it's worse to rewrite all this inference logic with parallelization also i want to mention that when it's quantized and maybe it's reduce the accuracy during this quantization process so thank you for your attention i hope this video helped you to understand how to use the lms to waste rock chips and in the next videos probably there will be more information about vlms rock chips and different abandoned devices thank you for watching bye